Welcome back to another episode of the MR2 Restoration. Everything runs good. Um, majority of the stuff are hooked up. The only problem that I have is the uh, RPMs in. It's not reading correctly, and I'm gonna fix that today. As you can see, sitting at very low RPM, my car don't idle at zero RPM, and this is incorrectly um, reading. As you can see, when I rev it, it doesn't read correctly, and you see my boost gauge it sits all the way up at the top. Uh, we're going to have to fix that today. That's totally wrong. Totally wrong. New capacitor. 10 UF, 25 volt. It should give a degree in here too. I think it's 105 degrees. So these are the capacitor that I'm going to be replacing in the uh, cluster today. And that should fix my problem. I got the solder iron here. You get this from any of the uh, electronics store. Fry's Electronics, a Radio Shack if they still uh, exist in your area. Well, I just pulled this apart. It's pretty straightforward. Open up all the clips that's around here. Uh, you end up with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clips in the back. Push it in, pull it out. Pretty easy and straightforward. And for the cluster, there is three screw behind here. As you can see, there's a uh, one there, two, and three. Be careful when you lift this up because you might tear the, um, the plastic uh, circuit board and you will have a bad day. Make sure you don't do that. Once you open those three screw, which is these long Phillips here. Once you crack open the three screw, this will automatically just fall right out of the um, cluster itself. And you're free to work on it. Now, the um, capacitor that we're replacing today is, um, let me show you guys. If you can see it. There we go, that's a better view. That one, and the other one on the opposite side. Right there, it's not focusing, there you go. It's basically this one right here. It's that one. So there's two capacitors that is exactly identical. That one and that one. And there is a um, longer side and the shorter side of the legs. Um, the shorter side is usually is the indication of a negative and the longer side is a positive and these are also uh, marked on the capacitor itself. The one with the silver line is negative and the one with no silver, silver line is positive so make sure you solder it in the correct place. If you put it in the wrong um, polarities, it won't work. So there it is. One leg is longer than the other, and the shorter leg is the negative. Let's heat up the solder iron and um, let's get to work.
I just don't want to damage the needle, so I'm gonna put something underneath the um, the gauge itself. You gotta find something to suck up and absorb the old solder. These soldering wires, and it's these copper looking color. What it does is absorb all the solder um, that is on the board or the legs, and then you can remove it. Because as soon as you lift the iron off of the solder, it will harden itself. So you're gonna have a tough time removing them. One capacitor, two legs are out. So as you notice, the orientation of the uh, markings for the negative is facing outward, so that's what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna sit like that. I'm gonna feed the new one in. There it is. This is the new solder. Just like that, one's done. And I'll be uh, cutting the legs off using um, a flush cutter or anything that you can use to cut it. Gonna desolder this. Just make sure you desolder the correct one because it really sucks if you desolder the wrong one and you gotta resolder it. Those are the two that I just desolder. That's how it should be. And when you pull them out, uh, straight up. See, those two are the one that I just solder. It doesn't look too bad. The one at the bottom is pretty difficult for you to um, put in place because it's uh, very crowded in this spot here and the legs is long so I probably need to cut it into size. Gotta be extra careful when you're in here. That is because um, you got wires underneath and you don't wanna break any of those wires. Those are like hairlines, um, as thin as a hairline. So make sure you be extra, extra careful. See those are the legs. Well, oh, oh, there we go. No, I just need to cut them off. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut them off using something. Um, 
clipper maybe and I'll assemble everything and um, give you guys the uh, final result all right this fully installed we're gonna see the result There we go. That's how it should idle. And that's how it should read. guys that verifies and conclude this episode of repairing your tack See you next episode. Peace.